Hi, what is up guys? This is Manic here and welcome to a video where as mentioned in my last video I talked about the fact that I went to a dentist recently um, Now this is gonna go over um, something I had to do which I actually have a piece of paper for was get a filling I actually got a filling um, I had to because um, One of my bad habits is not taking care of myself as a whole um, and so one of the things I had to do was get a filling because I don't brush my teeth well enough, which means I got cavities. So, this happened on the 17th of this month, uh, the 17th of February. So this was fairly, I think, like 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. This was like four days ago. I don't want to talk about this because um, I actually got a filling a month prior on, in January, um, it was this side, and I'm gonna talk about. So I'm talk, I'm gonna talk about this uh, about my fillings experience because I had two different experiences with getting a filling. So yeah, so let's start with this side of the mouth. This side of the mouth was pretty easy because it was just one part. It was up here. Um, the one on the seventeenth was both up here and down here on my on my left side. So. On my right side, on the upper part, it was it was all right. Uh, for some of you guys who don't know how getting a filling works, first of all, to get a filling, you have to have cavities, which I say like it's a prerequisite for a video game. Like you want this gun, these certain standards need to ha happen in order to get it. But it's not like it's not like everyone wants to get a filling. If that's the case, then here's how you get a filling: don't brush your teeth, or do brush your teeth, but just <laughs> don't do it as often as other people. Maybe do it like once a month or not at all for a month. Whatever. Whatever it may be. Just limit or just try to brush your teeth as little as possible if that's if that's what you, if you want to get a filling. Do not advise getting a filling. Here's why. So, how fillings work is they drill your teeth. Um, not all of them, just the parts that have cavities. Um... And what they do is, is they drill you, so they drill your teeth, and, um, so what's supposed to happen is they numb up your gums, because you're not supposed to feel it during the entire process of getting a filling. I did not know that. Um, my right side, I didn't feel anything on my right side, but my left side is a entire different story, which I'll talk about. So they drill, so they drill the teeth that have cavities, and they fill it with Polish I learned it's polish um, So yeah, keep in mind you see all this highlighted stuff here I got this paper not this exact one, but I got a similar paper whenever I got my right sides filled whenever I got my right side fillings filled See all the highlighted stuff there. These were not highlighted. It was just straight paper with all with the same information just not highlighted so it was fine. The the thing they tell you is, is you need to avoid hot and cold. You you um it says here sensitivity. Um on the sensitivity page side, following a restoration or filling, you may experience cold and heat sensitivity. This is normal and should subside within a few days. Um how I look at it is it kind of they also give you anesthesia so they so they numb your mouth. And they fill it with anesthesia because again, you're not supposed to feel what happens at the dentist. So, and I noticed that it's perfectly fine if you have anesthesia. They say to avoid it, or yeah, should subside within a few days, sometimes longer, depending on how deep the cavity was or the severity of the restoration. If sensitivity persists without improvement, please contact our office. Um, so, yes. Um, it says chewing. Our office only use our office only uses tooth colored whites or tooth colored or white composite filling. They are already says so chewing is permissible as soon as your numbness is gone. Also wait until your numbness has completely worn off before consuming very hot and cold foods and beverages, which again I talked about with sensitivity. In the first place, so on my right side, the first place my grandma sends me to is fucking Dairy Queen to get an ice cold food, which was a Heath Blizzard, which is very delicious. But I couldn't have it because the numbness was still there, so I had to wait until the numbness subsided 
to have my fucking blizzard. Which took maybe an hour before I had it. So yeah, this side was perfectly fine. I highly, if you guys haven't, also, nitrous or the laughing gas, dude, holy shit. If you ever have a ch if they tell you to be under, like, that you're gonna be under nitrous and they offer you music, put on Pink Floyd or some LSD era Beatles. Almost said Led Zeppelin, but Led Zeppelin never did LSD. Well, if they did, they didn't put it into their music. Um, but dude, laughing gas is one fucking amazing thing. They, it's, yeah, shit calms you down pretty quick. Um, so yeah, and then next, so, whole process is they, they first numb your mouth because they're going to put a needle inside you. Do not like needles. I'm terrified of needles. So something like that is very, and the reason I say this is because I've, I've, I've had very bad experiences with needles. I'm pretty sure everyone has, whether it's getting a tattoo or getting, um, a vaccine. Although anti-vax kids won't have that problem because they'll die a year or two after they're born. So there's, there's that. Um... So, so yeah, so it says soreness. The gum tissues, along with the site of the injection, may be sore for several days. Rinsing with warm salt water, one teaspoon of salt per glass of warm water will relieve the discomfort. Or Tylenol. Tylenol helps. <laughs> Tylenol works wonders, which I don't consume. I don't advise consuming hard drugs unless you absolutely need to such as Tylenol if you're hurting I'm not promoting hard drugs I don't know where that came from but it's YouTube you gotta be safe let me see if I can get some ah. let me see if I can get some my own personal line in here whoa hold on no I like this one better so yeah so then there's that um so yeah this this side was perfectly fine I didn't feel anything probably the best experience I had with fillings the 17th was the worst experience I've had at a dentist. Here's why. So, again, they put this, like, numbing gel on your mouth. And I think it's supposed to be on the gums. I didn't feel it on my gums. Um, I felt two of them on my gums. One of them was not. It was on the tooth. So, and the thing is, is one of the things the doctor tells you, or one of the things my dentist told me was, if you feel anything, put your hands up. We'll put more anesthesia in so that way you... Because, again, you're not supposed to feel anything. And the, the second problem is, is I'm a mouth breather. They put the thing on your nose. They put the nitrous on your nose. So I'm freaking out over here. I'm relaxed. I'm trying to relax. Which I was, but... I usually, with pain, I try and push through it. But there are certain parts of... There was one part during this whole thing where... I couldn't. I couldn't push through the whole thing. And so I put my hands up, just like just like he said, and he put in another needle in my fucking mouth. After, cause he put in like three injections in this fucking mouth already, and then he put in an extra one, which was supposed to work in the first place, but it didn't work until after the whole filling thing. So I only had like three to four fucking injections in there, which didn't fucking help. So now I'm stuck with these injections in my mouth with anesthesia that don't work. That's not working. And it didn't work until after. I had to wait longer to have my fucking blizzard. My whole mouth was fine. I could feel everything, but my lip up here was still numb. And I didn't want to risk that. thing with me is, is I'm also very sensitive. I don't... I don't want to, like... I don't want to like mess it up because 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 like it says here um like i mentioned already also wait it says also wait until your numbness has completely worn off before consuming very high and cold foods and beverages which i think also includes any sort of numbness that you incurred from the dentist whether it be your mouth or your fucking lips but my grandma's like no you should be fine i ain't taking that goddamn risk and here's another thing your bite so there's like chewing, soreness, sensitivity, your bite, and then children. I'm 19, um, but whatever. Um, like I mentioned in my last video about uh, 
work interviews, I may be I may be 19, but since I'm autistic, I'm fucking five. Um, in my mind, did I say 15? I'm 19. Um, turning 20 this year. So it says under your bite, your bite, your numbness, after your numbness has worn off, and you notice your bite is off or high, please return to our office for a bite adjustment. Who notices their bite that often that they're like, oh, my bite is pretty high. No, I eat a lot of foods. I switch between my right side and left side. There's no way of me knowing whether or not my bite is high. Now, I have a feeling that this side has been raised up because for whatever reason, this is making more contact than this side, even though I'm eating off this side. So I think that's why. Um, but whatever. And it says leaving the tooth with the high spot may cause tooth may cause the tooth to become sensitive. So if it becomes sensitive, is it too late for me to go in? Cause it is now sensitive. So what the fuck do I do? I actually got a call from my doctor or my dentist and he said, um, how's everything going? Um call me if you have any questions because I don't pick up random voice messages. Plus I didn't see this one, so fair enough. But yeah, so I so at my dentist, as I was getting the left side done, I felt the metal scraping into my teeth. Oh, that is a feeling I will not forget. To put it into perspective, for people who have never felt a filling or drilling in their mouth, you know, you know the sound of metal scraping, that like uncomfortable, cringy sound of metal? Okay, or well, take nails on a chalkboard, the scratching of nails on a chalkboard. I'm cringing right now, but whatever. If that was a feeling... Put that in your mouth on your teeth. That is exactly what that felt like. It was fucking bad. Or put metal nails on a chalkboard um, that that you can feel um, and put it in your mouth. That's exactly what it felt like. It was god awful. There was nothing I could do about it because it was too late and I thought they knew what they were doing. You know why? Because they're fucking dentists. Now, I'm not hating on whoever did my teeth. Um, I'm very happy that they did it. Um, um, I feel bad for them having to deal with my mouth because my mouth is unsanitary. But the, th the thing I'm trying to get at is... Is... <laughs> is this was the worst experience I've ever had at a dentist before. And I hate going to dentists. Um, and they said you need to check, we need to check up on you, um, in the next six months. So, I mean, six months from the, so that means, um, no, no, seven, six, seven, eight, September 17th. They're going to need to check up on me, see how I'm doing. I'm not going to be here the 17th of September, probably, because I doubt my mom would want me here back in Washington for that long. But even then, like, I'm not going to be here. <coughs> and besides, once I'm even at, once this 17th of September comes around, I'm not going to be able to, I'm not going to remember where the hell, I'm not going to remember to do this fucking checkup because it would have been about six months from now. Sorry, I, sorry, I had to think real quick. Um, so yeah. That is my worst experience at a, at a dentist ever. Um, and by the way, top part of my mouth, perfectly fine. Um, the top part of my mouth, I felt nothing. The bottom part of my mouth was where it was bad. Um, and trust me, I've endured worse. I've had my lips pierced. Um, I've had my ears pierced. I have actually stretched my ears. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. My ears are actually stretched. I don't know if you guys can see that. Show sure, let me. Yeah, my ears are stretched. I have endured those, but this is the worst feeling ever. Um, so yeah, if you guys have to get feelings, um, if there's something I could advise is if they do give you anesthesia, um, ask them to ask them to make sure that it's on the gums because if it's on the gums, that could be where the problem is because your gums are the most sensitive. Your gums, because if you need fillings, that means you probably that means you probably don't brush your teeth as often, or you don't floss, which means your gums could be pretty sensitive. So that would be something to look out for, because that is 
there's that. Then there's the other thing of nitrous. If you do have a chance to get nitrous or laughing gas, ask for it. You may not like if, unless you've dealt with laughing gas before. If you haven't, give it a try. It's fucking amazing. But if you don't like it, you don't have to do it again. If you if you have to do it again, they they told me that, and whenever I came back, I was like. Can I have the nitrous? And they were like, oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Because I hate asking for stuff. But then I was told that, like, all right, next time you do it again, if you if you want nitrous, just ask for it. So, And I figured they would have known already because I used it last time. So, um, so, yeah. Also, if they give you this paper that tells you, like, what to be careful for, do follow it. Um, just make sure you're not as stupid as I am in trying to be like, Oh, is this okay? Is this okay? Um, if you're not sure, call your local dentist um, or call your dentist and be like, I'm looking over this paper. Um, I'm just just say you're stupid. They'll probably understand. I have been told. I'm, I've said I'm stupid multiple times. I've gone away with stuff, even though I have been stupid. I once broke a drill bit. I've actually, I've actually broken two drill bits. Yeah, I blamed it on my stupidity in the and my woodworking teacher was like, okay, well. I have a replacement, and I broke it. I broke one, told him I was stupid. Broke the second one, and I hid it from him because he scares me. Um, so yeah, I would also be careful with what happens in your mouth. Also, make sure to brush your teeth. Um, coming from a guy who doesn't brush his teeth, but this is a reminder of what happens. Um, I'm just here to remind you: learn from my mistakes, brush your teeth, floss. Even though I'm not gonna floss because. That's a lot more extra steps than I need to do to keep to make sure to take care of my teeth. I already take care of my hair and my dick. I don't need to take care of my goddamn mouth. I, I take care of three things. I don't need to go in that extra work to take care of my mouth. I probably should, but brush my teeth is more than fine for me. Um, so yeah, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Um, it's free, and you can always unsubscribe later if you change your mind. And um, if you do subscribe, uh, hit that bell notification because I don't have a schedule. If you guys want me, if you guys want to be up updated as to when the next time I upload is, um, that I struggle through that, but I power through it. Here we are. Anyways, losing manic out.